so I've got an idea. It could be a silly idea, a crazy idea. Um, I recently cut up a painting and I cut up a canvas and wove the pieces of canvas to make another piece of artwork. In fact, where is it? Ah, oh, it's down here. Oh, there we go. Um, so I cut up a canvas, um, put it into a frame, um, really happy with the result. So I've got an idea. I'm going to cut up not one, but two canvases now. I've got lots of paintings lying around, which um, I haven't sold. I just haven't got round to doing it and or there's a problem with the paintings and they're not good enough to sell. Um, so I've got two paintings I'm going to use um, and I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to, I don't even know how to explain this, but I'm going to um, make a 3D kind of zigzag and then stick one painting on one part of the zigzag and the other painting on the other part of the zigzag. So if you imagine you walk past this piece of artwork and as you walk from one side, you see one painting, but then as you keep going, you see the other side and you see the other painting. I don't probably think that makes any sense at all. It will be clearer, I, hopefully, as I as I start doing it. Um, I've never done this before. Don't know if it will work. I've got to really think about it and work it out as I go. Um, so I'm all set up. I've got the canvases, got the card, got the, the frame. Let's get started. Right, let me first of all show you the canvases I'm going to use for this. So this, this piece was a commission, um, but just before it fully dried, I put my fingers in it over here um, and totally wrecked it. So I don't know if you can see, but there's two massive dents there. So I, I didn't I couldn't give it to the clients. So I redid it and that that was a while ago, but I didn't want to throw it away because I'm really happy with this. I think it's so pretty. So I've kept this painting um, and there's also a few little marks on it. I've kept it for something um, and this is the something. Then the other painting um, I want to use is this one, which again, I, I'm really happy with. It worked. It's a really pretty painting, but I just I feel like it needs more. It needs something. So because there's the blue in here and the blue in here, I feel that these two paintings are different enough, but they've got some similarity. They've both got some structure. They're both very smooth finishes. They're both very um, thin, thin paint mixtures for the poor. So I'm going to use both of these so let me show you try and explain i've got a frame here so it's going to go into a box frame which is 40 centimeters so i've drawn on here a 40 centimeter box i feel 40 centimeter square so if you can imagine now i'm going to have a zigzag so the card is going to come out like this and then go in so maybe like like that all the way across and then one half is going to have one painting the other half is going to have the other painting I still don't know if that makes sense um, but first of all what I need to really do is get a double this distance so I need to stick some card together to create about 80 centimeters in length because I'm going to fold it all up so it should then fit onto the 40 centimeters So I've stuck all those bits of card together. Now what I'm going to do is mark out five centimetre gaps. And that's where I'm going to fold the card to create the zigzag. Right, when I've done this, since when I've done all my five centimetre lines, I think five centimetres is actually too small. So I'm going to do 10 centimetres because it has to be divisible by four, by 40. So I'm going to do 10 centimetres. So I'm going to get the second of my two lines and I'm going to try and score it. So I've just got a palette knife and I'm just going to try and indent the card with the palette knife. Because what I want to be able to do is fold the cards, bend it at that point. I think that's worked. Right, so I've scored the card, so let's just try and bend it now.
that worked really quite well. Quite happy with that. So let's just see. Right, now I'm realising that that is, they're far too big. They're far too steep. So that actually I'm going to go back to my original plan, which is to do the five centimetre lines. So I want to now stick this this edge down here. So I'm going to do uh, use a hot glue gun to do it. And then stick the next one down on the next line. Right, that actually has worked extremely well because that feels absolutely solid. Right, now, does this make sense? I am going to cut up one of my paintings and stick it, so the wave, the wave will be on there, 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 and there. Then the stripy painting, the opposite, there, 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 and there. So when you look from one direction, you'll see one painting. But as you walk past and look from the other direction, you will see a totally different painting. You still might not understand what I mean by this, um, but this has worked. So I'm happy and I'm reasonably confident that this is going to work because this was the bit I think was that was worrying me the most. All I need to do now is cut each canvas up into six equal strips and stick it on. just a little bit excited at the moment it's coming together and it looks so cool so what I'm now going to do is put the double-sided <laughs> sticky tape on each of the bits of cardboard and now stick each of the pieces of canvas in place
So I finally, finally get to show you what I was planning with this piece. And I am so excited because it's worked. So you might like this, you might not like it. Doesn't matter, it's worked. I had an idea, I had a concept and it's worked. So you can clearly, you can see the, you can see the wave nicely framed. I'm now just gonna walk around and it totally transforms into the other painting. So it's totally nuts, it's totally mad, um, but it's worked. So if you look at it front on, it's just a bit confusing, it's a bit strange, um, but yeah, go to the side. One side, you get one painting, and then the other side, you get the other painting. So I just feel like it's really interesting. So on a wall, I, yeah, I just think it's it's interesting. It's a talking point. Um, now, I just got to push that back on. So I, I um, glued with my, um, not glued, I taped, double-sided sticky tape, taped all of the, the flaps on. Um, so you've got a little tiny gap in between. So I had thought about trying to fill that, but I think it would just draw more attention to it if I did that. Worked brilliantly. I put some more tape along the edge here and then tucked it in and folded it in. So if you look down there, you can see the gaps. Um, but I don't, don't think that matters. I think that's, that's totally fine. There was a little tiny gap right at the edge. So I just continued the, the, um, the canvas on there. And you can see it when you look down here so that the, you can see the pattern just follows. Um, I think this works well because they're both similar paintings in terms of the brightness. They're both kind of modern paintings. Um, so, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. You, it's probably Marmite. You'll probably either love it or you'll hate it. Um, I may do it again. I've enjoyed doing it so much. I might well do this again, but with maybe two totally different paintings. I think it works because the two paintings, although they're similar-ish colours, they are totally different. Um, so I think if they were really similar, it might get a bit confusing, but there's no confusing these two paintings. They are just totally separate. So crazy idea, crazy results. What do you think? Please let me know what you think of this. Um, please leave me a comment, any thoughts you've got. Um, I would love to hear it. I'm not offended if you think it's strange. Um, it is a bit strange, but it's a good strange. I like strange. Um, great, if you like it, please do hit the thumbs up button. Um, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Take care, everyone. Bye.